We are in Luleå, a small town in northern Sweden, 100 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. It's sub-zero here for seven months of the year. Tim Lennard can explain to us what these instruments are all about. He has lived here for 10 years. And since then, the artist has been using the material that is most abundant here for his works, ice and snow. He has agreed to meet us at this concert hall. We are a little surprised. Inside is uh, a seating for 160 people and all the orchestra. Ah, yes. From the outside, it's hard to imagine. Supposedly, there are concerts here every weekend at minus seven degrees. And Tim makes his instruments here. And here's the concert hall. This week, we're making flutes. In fact, it looks very different inside the snow domes. And there they are, instruments made of ice. Can you make music with them? We find that out a little later. For his flutes, Tim has frozen water in narrow tubes. Together with his assistant Fabian, he's now cutting the ice tubes to the right length. A metal mouthpiece is attached to the end of the tube. Every normal flute has a mouthpiece like this. Here, however, it is fixed into place with slush. That is rather unusual. How does one come up with such an idea? I had a friend who was building guitars, and uh, I wondered if I could build an, an instrument made of ice. And really, I, honestly, I was more thinking uh, myself of it as a sculpture. And he, th he immediately asked the question, wow, how's that going to sound? And once that question was out, uh, it really, you know, it'd be, you had to answer it. How's that going to sound? To be honest, that's what interests us the most. Tim wants to prove to us that his instruments sound like real ones, using his latest creation, the ice flute. A special challenge. The flute is permanently exposed to the musician's warm breath. So that it at least doesn't slip out of his hands, Tim attaches small leather plates where the holes are supposed to go. The slush on the outside provides additional grip. Still, it can't possibly work. No, the main difficulty is there's two. Uh, one is that it melts, and the other is that it changes size pretty radically when it changes temperature. So even just the presence of a musician coming and, and, and holding an instrument, the ice begins to expand and uh, get softer. For each of his artworks, Tim consults closely with real musicians. What does it take for the ice instrument to come close to a traditional one? The original instruments always serve as models. Here, for example, he finds out exactly where the holes have to be. Before they can continue working, the flute has to go into the freezer at minus 15 degrees. It all seems extremely complicated, but from Tim's point of view, it's worth the effort. To me, it makes the hair stand up on my, on my body, the back of my neck and so on. You, you've, you've experienced that. It's, it, it does something that just an ordinary instrument doesn't do. And for me, I can feel it almost vibrating the flesh of my body. My brain kind of buzzes because the ice is reflecting all these fine little teeth. In a moment, we'll be able to hear for ourselves whether the ice music is really that impressive. Tim quickly prepares rattles for the dress rehearsal. Although the ice violins are hollow inside, they have quite a weight. That's why they're hanging from the ceiling. Well, the violin is suspended um, to make it easier to play. It's heavier than a, than a wooden violin. And for a violinist, that connection here at the neck that holds the instrument out there is really important. If, th if the instrument's heavier than they're used to, they spend all this trouble trying to you know, hold it up like this. And uh, then they never leave first position. Tim can make two flutes a day. A stringed instrument takes about a week. Tim now very carefully drills the holes in the flute. Again and again, some of the delicate instruments break. We will soon see if the new flute works. First attempt, and... 
Well. I guess I'm risking my reputation. <laughs> Here. <laughs> But after a few minutes... My thumb is killing me right now, so... <laughs> you know, I don't recommend it for tender little folks. You know, I think it's a, you know, it's a kind of a tough person's game, this. I mean, this is... If you're a couch person, this is not your game. After only 10 minutes of playing, Tim has to touch up a few spots. The, the problem is this, is that by the time you found the pitch, you've blown the back of the flute out. And so the inside is changing all the time. They have a very short lifespan. In the meantime, it's early evening. The musicians are coming. The flute is cool, but far from perfect. So how can a whole concert be held here on ice? The walls are three meters thick, and so no ten nothing can penetrate those walls. And so that creates a very steady, even uh, climate-controlled place for us to do the music in. And always around minus seven degrees. So the instruments that no one blows hot breath into are protected. Like the drums. Or this marimba. The bassist, the guitarist and the violinist spend a long time tuning their instruments. The cold really gets to the strings. The biggest thing I think it's the tuning, because I have to tune between the, the songs and sometimes I would like to tune <laughs> in the songs, but I can't. So, of course, it's a bit uh, uh, different with the intonation and also because my fingers are cold, so yeah, that's also a bit more different. And of course the weight. This guitar weighs about 10 kilos. Not everyone wants a block of ice like that on their lap for hours on end, do they? I didn't hesitate a second to be a part of this. Tim has made an unbelievable work with the instruments. Tim is testing the new rattles. And here's the final secret. The colors everywhere are created by small LEDs that Tim has built into the instruments. And this is what it sounds like. But what about when summer comes? Wasn't it all for nothing then? To me, when they melt, when, when the whole show melts, uh, it returns back to wherever it came from. And that makes it more special when it's here. When you fall.